to your mid-month reading for October. I hope your friends are doing great out there. Welcome back all subscribers and anyone new to my channel. Welcome, welcome. Friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, Cap, let's see what's going on with you. And the mid-month of October. The energy I'm looking for is what you're thinking, feeling, or the energy surrounding you. We have the Queen of Cups coming up. <laughs> Very interesting. Um, this energy here could be showing us that either you love and adore someone, or someone is loving and adoring you. Um, somebody's, man, I just keep getting this thought like someone's really paying attention to Capricorn over here. Okay. And getting clarifying card with an Oracle card. This card's not only going to clarify on the Queen of Cups, it's also going to clarify in the entire reading. This card has a big job. Right on the Queen of Cups for Capricorn, please. Should be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio who is just literally in love with you. I just keep feeling this. <clears throat> yeah. I got the heart chakra coming out. Yeah, definitely. The heart chakra. So, yes, someone is loving and adoring you. I just, I don't know. That's what's coming up, you guys. You are. So beautiful, so handsome to this person, and they are so in love with you. You have their heart chakra going crazy. Um, <clears throat> clarifying on the present situation, the near past situation, and the near future situation. The spirit of what is going on with Capricorn. Oh, we have the temptation coming out. And the triumph and success upside down. It's very interesting. You guys could be dealing with a, another Capricorn or a Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra as well. Hmm. Near past. What's going on there? Sacral chakra is open as in the I want um, area. Uh, you wanted something. Maybe there was something more that you wanted than you had in the near past, or maybe you were still waiting for that, right? In the near future, you have intuition. Okay, coming out. So you do have the four cards. We're just talking about this foundations going on over here. Um, grounding yourself, feeling your foundations, um, getting back to the roots of yourself. So, going straight over here to the sacral chakra, it's saying you want something, knowing that you want something, passionately using your emotions. High Priestess, might be something secret that you wanted, or just intuitively knowing, um, sitting next to the intuition card that you want this. Fight on the High Priestess. Justice card coming out. Like I said, you could be dealing with a... Oh, man. Once again, though, too. Pisces, Cancer, Libra. You're saying, I want to be able to use my higher intuition. I know what I want. Um, and like I said, it could even be one of your own secret desires. But however it is... The circumstance is not justifiable at this time. You're not seeing any justice in this situation. Clarify on the justice. The chariot upside down. No. There is a delay. A movement could be dealing with a cancer for a lot of you. No, cancer, cancer, cancer. Three times cancer. So somebody out there is literally dealing with a cancer. Um, but however it is, yes, it's not moving forward because there's insecurities, doubts, and disappointments within this which I'm going to say relationship. Yeah, delays. 
not moving forward, a lot of delays, a lot of procrastination going on within this, this relationship. Was this person, we're going to say cancer, since we have a lot of cancer going on over here, Cap, was this cancer delaying all the situations? Was there unjustifiable things going on within the relationship that you just did not find um, suitable for you? They were giving you disappointments. Secrets. Did this person have a lot of secrets that you were just not digging on? Why? I just feel like you're using your intuition to figure out that, you know, cancer over here has a lot of secrets. I'm not going to move forward with cancer when they have so many secrets. There's too many hidden things going on within this relationship, and this does not seem justifiable to me. Um, I can't justify any of this, it's, you know, and that's really, and it's like, I want to know your secret, Cancer. I want to know the truth. Why do I keep hearing truth? Because the justice card, upside down. Things are not being said that are truthful. Things are being hidden, and you wanted the truth out of the relationship, and it was like they just kept side-passing you. Um or lying to you, saying things that, you know, it kind of feels like sidestepping. Did you have a person who would sidestep? You would ask them something and then they would sidestep the whole situation? Where were you yesterday? Well, anyways, you know, my mom got a new dog. Okay, that's sidestepping the this, this situation. And I do feel with the chariot upside down and the six of swords, a lot of sidestepping, which would then bring you disappointments because this person could never bring out any kind of truth or even the situation up to light at all. And all that's all you wanted out of this relationship with this person. And this is love, I know it is. I feel love all around it. So it just feels like, yeah. So it feels like with the Six of Swords in the past, they went away, that was it. They're gone, yeah, you took a death to it. You could be even dealing with a Scorpio. There is, it's, the ending is over, You're, you had enough. And this relationship could never give you anything you wanted. Not when they keep sidestepping the situation. You have the temptation over here, and now you have the Queen of Cups coming up. Clarify on the present, please. The temptations with the love upside down. You know, oh my gosh. Hold on. You have the temptation with the lovers upside down. Is this person still like kind of hanging out with you or hanging out around you? Was it a Gemini? Um, feels like there wasn't any real true love within this relationship. You're not looking for a relationship. It looks like you're not even looking for a relationship right now because... You're not tempted to give your you're not tempted to give your love away right now or give your heart away right, right now. You're just staying calm and cool and relaxed. Could be dealing with a Gemini also. And it could be this Gemini is super in love with you. They're adoring you, and you don't want to give your heart away. Not like that, not right now. It's kind of like they're calm, they're cool, they're giving you love, and you're like, let's take this slow and cool and easy, right? <clears throat> Take this calm, cool, and easy because you're not looking for any, you have the realizations you're not looking for a new beginning right now. You're just dating this Gemini or, you know, if there is no Gemini and it's just yourself, you're just taking it cool, and calm, and easy and not tempted by love right now at all. You're just kind of hanging out to yourself, okay? Not looking for any forward movements right now within love, of course, a lot of you. Nothing committable, right? That message coming in from the Eight of Wands. King of Pentacles coming in. Who 
Yeah, the King of Pentacles coming in. This is the person that loves and adores you. I feel like if you have two people here, this is an ex coming in. This is the person you're dating now. You have an ex messaging you. And no matter how you see a Capricorn, you are loved. You might be. This could be two people. You're loved and adored by two people. You have an ex coming back. No matter what, this is that ex. This is going to be that cancer coming in. Um, it just feels like they're manipulating. They don't see that they really did anything wrong within the relationship. It's almost like they want to come back. They want to ask messages. They're asking, you know, um, can you make a decision on whether or not, you know, we're going to fix our two of cups over here because, you know, it's been quite a while and I'm waiting for your message. Knight of Swords coming in. Uh, Capricorn, where is this? I'm rushing back at you for love. That's a lot of communication. Yeah, it's an X. Six of Cups, I've been thinking about you this whole time. Yeah. And they're coming back rushing in at you this month, um, trying to give you back flowers, memories of love, however it is, trying to repair this reconciliation. Um, yeah, you are definitely loved and adored. Like I said, by, for some of you, it's two people. Yeah, a lot of memories of love going on over here. Eight of Cups. Ace of Cups. Okay, so you got the Eight of Cups over here. They're progressing, and they believe that this is the perfect timing to come back to you, um, to take you back, to see if you will reconciliate with them. feels like they've been thinking about you a lot. Um, Ace of Cups upside down. They have not been happy since this, since this separation that you two had. Um yeah, two of wands, they have been strategizing, delegating, and trying to decide on, yeah, when is the perfect time to stop hanging around and start getting, um, moving towards you, Capricorn, and taking action. They're tired of hanging around, thinking about it, so now they're going to literally start moving. So it feels like they've been in this hangman position for quite a while, thinking and delegating about how they're going to try to win you back. That's pretty much what it is. How am I going to say, you know, that I miss you, Capricorn? Yeah. yeah, Capricorn, I see you as Nine of Pentacles. I want to travel toward you. You are the most beautiful thing in the world. That is a Capricorn card. Um, they see you now as just single and gorgeous and luxurious. And they see you in a different light now than they've seen you before. Yeah, they definitely see you differently. They might have seen that you've grown. I see you different. They see you as more luxurious, more appealing. Um, hmm. Yeah. Seven of Wands. Yeah, so they're going to stand their ground and want to take the challenge to try to get back to you. It could also be that maybe they see you with this other person if you do have another person. And a lot of times it's really weird. Um, but sometimes when they see you with another person, it makes them want to go into challenge mode. Because um, then they start seeing you in a different light. Like, what are they doing in my Capricorn? You know, it's just really weird. But some people do do that. Um, however, it is they really want to stand their ground and take this challenge with you. And, um, yeah, they're coming towards you this month. Could be because of Mercury retrograde coming around. But, yeah. Yeah, Ten of Swords. They're tired of being in the Ten of Swords. And, yeah, Page of Swords. They've been watching you. Like I said, if they see that you're with someone else... Um, they could be watching you and thinking that's mine, you know, or I, I want that back. Um, if they don't see you with anybody else, it doesn't matter. They've been watching you grow. They've been observing you, they, you know, whether it's social media, through friends. Maybe you have mutual friends. Maybe they're getting their information from mutual friends, something like this. Uh, but however it is, they have been observing you and watching you grow into the Nine of Pentacles. This beautiful Nine of Pentacles doesn't have to be single. It's just singling you out for you just being gorgeous, right? Just being 
that awesome person that you are, Cap. So with your intuition over here, <laughs> yeah, they're coming back. So now you're going to have to make a decision. So over here, it's like three of, of wands. You know, they're making the decision to come talk to you, and now you're going to have to make a decision of whether or not you're going to stand your ground against them and say, you know what, I'm not going to talk to you. Or maybe we will talk things through. So it's going to be up to you to figure out, you know, how is this going to work? Intuition. Literally, in the near future, you're going to have to use your intuition for this um, with the Ace of Swords. You're going to have to have realizations of what's going on. Realizations of, uh, you know, if you are single at Nine of Pentacles, did they have enough growth to take them back? You know, or do you have the realization you've grown away from them, you know, and wanted to stay with your own Queen of Swords over here or just yourself as a single person? Because you've already taken this new leap of faith. You've already worked so much for yourself. No matter what, getting to where you need to be. You've already had this awesome growth. Yeah, and healing. You've already healed from this person. You've already grown. You've already done all the steps that you need to do for yourself to get to the Nine of Cups. So I think your intuition is pretty much, much telling you, yeah, Four of Swords. You're going to ignore this person. Wow, okay. You're literally just going to ignore them because they're confusing you with the two of swords. Maybe everything they're saying is just confusion. Um, you do have the five of swords coming out. So they're confusing you of whether they are tricking you. Are you still deceitful? Are you still going to walk around things? You know, I pretty much learned. It feels to me over here that you're going to, you know, come to the determination that you've already learned from this person. Um, they're nothing but a trickster. And even if they had changed, I don't think, with all the growth and all the healing and everything in moving on with the fool that you've done, you know, it almost feels kind of like uh, I don't need to take back, um, you know, I don't need to take this person back. Yeah, Page of Wands. I've traveled past this. I've found other people. I've done other things since this relationship. I don't know why you're coming back. Um, with the Page of Wands, they are coming back, though, and they do see you. Like I said, they're seeing you in a different light. Yeah, and you're saying, this relationship doesn't really have anything for me. Um, I don't see any, any real relationship here. Do they even have the relationship values? I mean, it's these kinds of things that, yeah, you're... You're trying to use your opinions to come to the conclusion. And these opinions, obviously, are coming from higher intuition. Um, kind of like weighing your pros and cons over here. You know, like I can have so many other things with Seven of Cups. I don't, you know, I don't really need this. Because how do I know that they're, you know, really healed? How do I know? I, I don't think I want to take the challenge. Yeah, you know, with the moon coming out, too, it's kind of tricky. There's too many secrets. They had secrets before. I don't. You know, I just don't think you want to take this challenge. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles. You're just going to sit over here being the beautiful Queen of Pentacles that you are and the Nine of Pentacles. You know, two beautiful uh, Capricorn cards. You just don't, I don't think you want this. There's too many secrets. There's too many things going on. They have too much of a shadow side. Maybe they have too many skeletons in their closet. However it is, there's something up. And, um, you know, I think that you're going to say, that's wonderful that you think I'm lovely, you know, I'm lovely and adoring and that you love me this much. Um, with the spying and all this stuff over here, though, it even feels a little obsessive, Capricorn, for some reason. Um... It could be a little bit of manic obsession with you. I wouldn't say that for everybody, but it does seem a little, little prying eyes over here, kind of watching you. And, you know, it just seems kind of like they kind of came back and were like, what's Capricorn doing? Hmm, I think I'll watch them on social media for a little while and see what's going on and talk to so-and-so and who and who and whoa, whoa, right? And that just seems to be what it was. And it's just all of a sudden, it seems like it's a little manic. All of a sudden, all those memories came back. And then it, that's when, it, you know, it starts coming back. And then they want to know more and want to know more. <clears throat> it's really how it feels.
Okay, friends, so let's see what animal card you should be for the month. It says be the tiger. Just accept your magnificence and just keep going on. Just walk that walk, sway that tail, and just keep moving forward, right? See how this person feels about you. They feel like they had called in their soulmate. Okay, so they feel like when they were, they, at one time, you were their soulmate. Like they had called in their soulmate and you were it. But why is, you know, but then it didn't work. So they're going to come back, try it again. Romantic feelings, because they always had romantic feelings for you. That's how they feel right now, but I think it's kind of interesting. That's kind of weird. Um... So at one time they felt that they were calling in a soulmate, or maybe they do now. You take, that's. I'm going to leave that one alone. <clears throat> they do know that they were deceptive to you in the end. And they do know that that's why you got rid of them. That you released their, that you released the ex. They do know that they did that. Okay. And cross watcher, of course, this could be the Capricorn, okay? So, yeah. But definitely they know that that's what broke this whole relationship was some kind of deception, trickery, um, no real truth-telling, something like that. But they are coming in trying to, uh, oh, watch that. When they come back this month, you guys, watch that because they're going to try to come in all playful and different. Kind of like the person that you knew once before all of this happened. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. And for Frost Watcher, let's see what the Cap wants to do. Let's see what Cap has to do over here. Yep, that's the Capricorn doing this to you. The Capricorn is trying to get to know. And they want the trust. Okay. And they have uh, trying to get your trust back. Okay. It's for two different people, so that's of course. Okay. So, yeah. Trying to get to know each other with a trust. They really want you to be very trusting. Um, Capricorn, for you over here with trust, I would say that this coming up is your energy, too. I would say trust your own instincts. Because really, more than anything, getting to know each other, I don't... I think you know that's what they're trying to do when they're being playful is they're trying to get to know you and you're just like I don't think you want that right yeah you don't you're just trying to separate yourself from the situation yeah so two different three different kinds of situations going on over here okay so yeah okay just it feels like you're just trying to keep yourself away from all of this nonsense okay Okay, my friends, so let's see what the angels have to say, and then we're all done. Well, it was a big video. That was long. I didn't realize it was so long. Okay. Yeah, choose a new direction. Angels say just choose the new direction. Just keep going on the path that you're on. You're already on a great path. You don't need to worry about this, okay? Don't worry about this person because, yeah, you just keep going where you're going. You're on a great path. Because they love and adore you, that's wonderful and that's fine. Um, and it's great to be loved and adored, but it's just not really there. And like I said, if you're already being loved and adored by this Queen of Wands, you just keep on the path with that, or I'm sorry, Queen of Swords. You just continue on the path with the Queen of Swords. Okay, and don't worry about this X. Okay, and until next time, peace and love, my friends. Bye-bye.